around the clock for week 14 and I know I mentioned I was never going to wear a Raider uniform or jersey ever again for the rest of the season. Uh, I'm wearing this tonight only in honor of Mr. Vincent Edward Bo Jackson. As you can see I got the Heisman 85 Auburn Tigers hat on. I got I am ready for the ESPN special tonight. Go to ESPN tonight. Check out the Bo Jackson special. It is going to be awesome if you are a true uh, fan of athletes, a true sports fan, Anybody would love this. Even a Broncos fan can appreciate some of it. You got to see it. Check it out. The memorable moments on Monday night against Detroit with Barry Sanders, uh, against Herschel Walker and the Vikings, uh, against Monday night games against the Broncos where he, he was bowling over and blowing out Steve Atwater. I mean, it was just incredible to watch. Um, you got to go check it out on ESPN tonight. The breaking of the bat over the knee in Kansas City. The, the play, the games they played against the, the Yankees when Deion Sanders was there. Incredible, epic games. Uh, instant classics, as they say. And, and Bo Jackson was definitely my all-time favorite athlete. Uh, not only because I'm a Raider fan, but just to watch. Even if I wasn't, just to watch him. I, I admire Barry Sanders, too, but the, this isn't about him. <laughs> Where did that come from, right? Uh, but go check it out. The memorable games all the way up until the, his last carry against Cincinnati in the AFC uh before, right before the AFC Championship game. I mean, this is a guy that made Jay Schrader look good, okay? At quarterback. Go check it out. It is going to be tremendous on ESPN, 9 o'clock. Check it out. Uh, now, on to the lock around the clock. Before, well, one more last stop, ludogs.com. Go there today. Find out what the hottest handicapping site on the web. Check out their free rolls, free bets. Go there before all the NBA action, NCAA action tonight. Also, and NFL action tomorrow. Need I tell you that? Go there and check it out at LouDogs.com. On to the locks around the clock. At 1 o'clock, I have a 1 and a 1A for you, okay? I got two plays that I really, really like a lot. I want you to get on both of them. And by the way, we're 14-5 and five since Turkey Day, just to give you a recent history and where we're at. Um, so, going into this game, we have the Colts at home. They're taking on Tennessee. Tennessee is ranked 31 in defense. They're just completely horrible against the pass. Um, what do the Colts do? Andrew Luck passes. He has Reggie Wayne. He's got T.Y. Hilton. He's got an arsenal of weapons there. Uh, it doesn't even matter if he had one weapon there. He is going to slay this team. Possibly the Colts could get 47 alone. But Jake Locker, who will be without Hutch and a couple of the offensive linemen, which doesn't bode well, he still will be able to get some passes off downfield. C.J. will probably get, uh, I'm going to say, hopefully, I, I would say about 100 yards in this game. I don't see any reason why he shouldn't. They should put up enough points. I see the Colts winning this game 37-14. It's going to be a blowout. I, I believe the Colts are going to tear it up, take the over 47 in this game. On to Tampa Bay is my another my second one o'clock my one a Tampa Bay is at home against a reeling Philadelphia uh, team here and t Philadelphia their defense is just a shambles I mean it was bad to begin with but without their defensive quarter uh, coordinator Washburn who was recently ejected from the team uh, you're going to try to learn a new defense I mean you can't repair a defense over a season sometimes learning a new scheme I don't see anything happening here the only thing that that Philadelphia seems to be doing offensively is running the ball. Well, the fumble-prone uh, running back at this point in Bryce Brown. And, yes, Tampa Bay is pretty darn good against the run, if anything. I don't see them passing. I don't see Falls. I mean, although Falls is a good quarterback, I think it'll be great for them in the future. Don't see it happening here. Take Tampa to just slay the Philadelphia Eagles, lay the 7.5. On to the 4 o'clock game, we got Arizona traveling, not too far, but to the Pacific Northwest to visit Seattle. Where the 12th man rules, I've told you time and time again, the weather's probably going to be horrible there. And really, Arizona with Skelton even back under center, they don't need any help <laughs> against their offense. And this game just spells all kinds of trouble defensively. Going against uh, the Seahawks, who just are going to crush this team. I mean, they played the Jets last week in a game that was perfect at the MetLife Stadium. Perfect weather, and they couldn't get any more than six points on the board. Larry Fitzgerald just disappeared again for a third game. Take the Seattle Seahawks, lay the 10.5. I know it's a lot, but they are going to crush them. Look for a lot of Lynch. Look for, and, and trust me, if I have my choice of two quarterbacks here, I'm going with Russell Wilson. Take the Seahawks comfortably, lay the 10.5. Now on to the 8 o'clock lock. 
we have Green Bay at home against Detroit. The over in this game is 49. The average score that Detroit has been losing by, losing games by, is 31.75 points. People are scoring against them on average. Uh, the total here is only uh, 49. And I say only with tongue in cheek because 49 is not a lot of points for these two teams to mass accumulate. Green Bay's defense still banged up without Charles Woodson. Uh, Ch Calvin Johnson should have a field day again. Look for this first-ranked offensive pass attack to crush the Green Bay Packers defensively. I think the Packers would probably win this game, to be honest with you. But don't forget, they have Aaron Rodgers, who will play well against this defense at home. Look for the points to fly in this game. Take the over. That's the 8 o'clock lock in the Green Bay game. Until next week, take it to the book. Take it to the bank. And as always, you take it easy. <laughs>